Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another food challenge. It feels like it's been ages since I did one of these kind of all out 24 hour food challenges, but it's officially spooky season. So we're having only pumpkin. And this morning I even made for this video, pumpkin earrings. I did go a bit all out. Yummy, yummy pumpkin high. I think it's really hard to do pumpkin in the UK though, because pumpkin spice isn't such a big thing here as it is over in America. So I found it really hard to find any kind of pumpkin foods at all. Anyway, hope you enjoy. As always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you at breakfast. Okay, so it's snack time now and I know this video is off to a little bit of a slow start, I promise. I have some fun pumpkin themed things later. And pumpkin seeds are part of a pumpkin. So I've got pumpkin seed and oat crisp bread. And I was gonna have that with pumpkin hummus, which I know exists, I've seen it before, but I couldn't find it in any of the local shops to me. So I'm just gonna use up some of the last of the red pepper hummus that we've got in, which is orange. So kind of related, but yeah. And then I'm gonna go out and buy some more bits. So hopefully we'll start to pick up with some real fun pumpkin foods that I've got planned for this afternoon. Fresh pumpkin gnocchi. Fresh pumpkin gnocchi. Had this before, it's really nice. Mm. It's quite a strange texture as well, isn't it? Mm. It's spongy and mm -hmm. to me it's just quite flavourless. I have to say it's not as nice as last time I had it. The last time I had it was last October when I was still quite unwell and everything tasted amazing. Yeah. Mm. I would still have this again though, I quite like it. A nice alternative to pasta. Headed back to the only place in the UK that's gonna give us something pumpkin spice and that is of course none other than Starbucks themselves. I've never ever had a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> And I feel like that's such a basic white bitch thing to do, isn't it? But I'm such a Costa girl that I really don't go to Starbucks that often. But I have to try it. I have to know, is it overhyped? I think I'm going to get an iced one today. But I'm trying the rest of the Starbucks and Costa and Pret and Nero, all of their ranges in a different video, so stay tuned. That's oh, not a nice leaves. video. No, look, it's autumn. So after admiring the autumn leaves, we headed into Starbucks. Unfortunately, the Starbucks we went to was all out of pumpkin spice latte, so we went to a different one. I picked up a cookie and an iced pumpkin spice latte. I'm not sure why I didn't get the cream. Got covered in rain, drowned rat look here. And then we tried it out. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm still gonna be a Costa gal at the end of all of this. Oh, it's so wet. It's like drooping. The latte was a little bit overhyped, but the cookie on the other hand, well, Look at it, it was delicious. I'll let you know my thoughts in just a moment's time, but it was probably my favorite thing from the whole day. 
No, it's really good. It tastes like if you think about autumn and Christmas spices in a cookie. But overall, nothing will ever really compete with Costa's Christmas hot chocolate. Dinner is on brew and I've gone for a classic, a favourite. The only pumpkin related dinner that I was going to do, if it wasn't going to be pumpkin soup, it was going to be this. And I had soup last night, so we've gone for pumpkin katsu curry. Yeah, it's it was on the way. It's on its way. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. Naturally sweet, crispy bites of kebab, kombucha, kab, kom, no, not kombucha. When I think of kombucha, I think of that video of Anisio pouring it all over himself, so. Kab, kabocha? Type of pumpkin with mild curry sauce, spring onion, and steamed rice. It looks way bigger than I remember it looking. I love this. I, I don't think I've actually had this curry since the day that I chose to recover. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening everybody, excuse what I look like, I've just got in the shower and I feel like my eyebrows have just disappeared in the glow but the candle smells really nice. I feel like something about putting a nice candle on really makes an evening feel special and I always forget to actually put them on, like I have a whole box of candles in the other room and I always forget to crack them out. But doesn't it just make an evening feel so special when you light a lush smelling candle? Anyway, today was really fun. I would love to see an American do this challenge. Please, if you're in America, I'm so jealous of your Halloween spirit we're not finished yet of course we need a dessert so i got this little pumpkin lolly this was the only pumpkin themed dessert in the entirety of my town like i went to every shop i went in every single shop and this is all i could find and this is vegan and that wasn't intentional i'm not opting out of a non-vegan dessert it was just this was literally the only pumpkin themed dessert there was i mean he's cute don't get me wrong but I'm a bit disappointed. I really wanted a pumpkin pie, but apparently that is just not a thing we do here. And I couldn't even find pumpkin puree to make my own pumpkin pie. He looks kind of sad. I feel really like mean. Like, you know when food has got faces on it? Do you ever feel like really mean for like taking a bite? It has got that vegan chocolate taste. It's just not the same. If this was Cadbury's, it'd be so much better. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about it. This is what we've got. This is what we're going to go for. It's not awful, but because I'm not vegan, I would choose the normal dairy chocolate, if that makes sense, if I had a choice. Thanks so much for watching. I've got some more autumnal food challenge videos planned coming up. If you've been here for a while, you probably are expecting a particular video to come out near Halloween, and you'll be right. It's coming. Stay tuned. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.